Hi, my lovely burgundy, 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 how you doing? Um, just coming in for a little new moon check. We've got had our new moon in Cancer. We're in Cancer now, baby. It was also Mercury retrograde, which will probably be affecting you quite heavily as um, my little Virgo Virgs are ruled by Mercury. So you could really be feeling um, a pull right now. Um, and we've had some summer solstice, so I'm coming in with the badass tarot. Okay, just to do a really quick heart and head for my lovely Virgs. So let's get on it. I don't want to be here hours. I want you to be able to watch it whilst you're doing the washing up, having a poo, <laughs> hiding from your missus, hiding from your mister. Oh, the best thing ever, Luna. Yeah, 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 all the best. Okay, one more for my lovely Virgs. Let's see what's going on. Do you know? Yeah, good, great. Okay, I'll pick those up after, shall I? Oh, the best. Okay, as above, my little Virgs, let me just adjust my derriere. Got my shimmy on for you. <laughs> okay, as above, your intuition's on point. Okay, or what I'm saying, so you have the high priestess and the download I'm getting with this. I mean, Taurus just got this, and this is me in 30 years' time, and I live, I live, I live, I live, Virgs. But really, I feel you need to trust your intuition right now. Your intuition is trying to tell you things, Virgs, and you're not trusting in it, you're not listening to it, and I really think you need to. That's as above, that's a message that for you. Your intuition on someone or something, okay? It, doesn't, it can be brother, mother, sister, lover. Take what resonates, yeah, okay? Your intuition's on point, and I don't think you're listening to it. And now I've said that, you probably know what it's about. That's all I need to say, right? Okay, what you're thinking... <sighs> okay, so where this is placed and what this card is, you've got the Four of Swords, which is generally in the upright, which generally is taking a time out, taking a rest. I don't think your mind is resting. I don't think you can sleep. I think you're counting sheep because you're waiting on a message for someone. Bergs, I think in your head, you're like trying to manifest a message from somebody and I don't think you're sleeping properly, trying to count those sheep. Okay, get some sleep, Bergs. You need, you need beauty sleep, right? The brain can't function properly without sleep. Get some sleep, okay? If someone wants to message you, they'll message you. Okay, no, you know, you can try and manifest it. Or, is a thought, it's just a little thought. If you want to hear from someone, why don't you call them? Why don't you text them? Then you might just get a reply. You get me. In it. Feeling section, you've got the seven of wands. So here, I think like the battle's done, whatever the battle is. Okay, this, but I still think that you've got a real battle in your heart space for someone, something here. There's a battle, look, it's like a chase. It's like a runner chase, it's like a twin flame situation. One runs, one chases, then, then they'll flip turn, reverse it, then the chaser runs and the runner chases and it all goes a bit nuts. But you're playing Pac-Man with someone, but it's almost like you want to close your eyes. You don't want to acknowledge the fact that this runner chaser situation is still occurring, okay? In your heart space, you're still chasing. Your heart is still chasing someone or something that you want. Could be a dream, could be a work goal. You know, take what resonates. But if it's with that, what you're thinking and feeling, it's definitely a someone. You're waiting on a message from someone, counting sheep, trying to sleep, you know, closing your eyes, trying not to see it all, trying or, or putting a band-aid over your band-aid. Am I American? No. Uh, or putting a plaster over your heart, trying to pretend it doesn't exist, when really, Pac-Man, Pac-Man says it does. Um, yeah, and at the bottom, at the bottom, so, you know, so below, we have got the seven of wands in reverse. So two sevens there, 14. Um, take what resonates, look up that Adrian number if you want to, but, but with the seven of wands in reverse, I mean, it is a comedy card. Wash your fucking hands. How on point is it right now? Okay, but for me here, with these seven of wands in reverse at the bottom, it's still showing that emotional struggle, that emotional battle with someone. And what I feel as well is you're not looking after yourself with this lack of sleep as well. And I said it earlier, get some sleep because you need it, everyone does. At the bottom of the deck is the nine of pentacles in reverse, which is the self-care, self-care card. And also I just want to tell you, Fergs, my card, if you haven't seen it, uh, with this badass tarot, I've been put on a tarot card. <laughs> And it's the nine of pentacles like oh wait to get it i haven't got it yet um but here we have the nine of pentacles in reverse so you're not taking care of yourself properly virgs okay and you could not be taking care of your heart properly because if your heart beats for someone go with that someone 
etc 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 don't waste time playing games you get me anyway virgs quick check in for that lovely cancer new moon please take care of yourselves okay all the best